We just got some official leaks regarding Sandrone and her character is one of a kind. Major spoilers ahead as I read out some of the audition voice lines for Sandrone's character released by Hoyoverse. So Sandrone is described as 7th or 7th of the Fatui Harbingers. She looks about 20 years old but is actually 360 years old which is the classic lolicon escape route. You know like those 21 year old underage women that get perved on at the gym? Yeah that's like Sandrone. Gotta make sure that she She's not 20 years old guys, that's very predatory. <laughs> Her personality is similar to the average female Genshin fan, mentally unstable, a lone operator, just like most female Genshin fans who don't have friends. She holds eye contact, nods, and gives the impression that she's following the conversation, but then you realize she's not listening to a single thing. Very similar to the average Genshin fan who needs to go on shorts and TikTok every two seconds because their attention span and ADHD and self-diagnosed autism is affecting them. Her thoughts are forever consumed by her unusual research and she doesn't care about anyone or anything else. Kinda similar to the average Fujoshi who only cares about gay yaoi every two seconds and shipping characters because they have a porn addicted brain. If you strike a nerve, she instantly becomes extremely enraged. If you're lucky, she'll curse you to high heaven. If you're not, she'll turn you into a flesh and blood puppet to exact revenge. This is very similar to the average feminist when you tell them that you don't want dark skinned characters in Genshin. They'll probably try and curse you out when Twitter or try and do a tarot card horoscope reading to try and curse you. Like you guys think I'm joking but there's actually surprisingly a lot of women that genuinely believe witchcraft will manifest their desires. You can see this for yourself, go to any post that says repost this to get him back etc and the comment section will be filled with deluded women trying to win back the man that left them. I digress, Sandrone is described as a yandere, control freak slash dom, highly strong and dangerously unstable. Basically a love letter to the female Genshin fan community, who have decided to boycott Zenless Zone Zero because it's apparently Guna bait and caters to straight cis men. Why aren't more people angry about these woke feminists invading our male spaces and then spreading their agenda? Gaming and games like this were clearly catered towards male audiences and women are invading these spaces and then complaining about it. Yet they will be angered if males invade women only spaces, it's just extremely hypocritical. Like this absolutely woke feminist cosplayer parading around a sign that says fetishizing lollies is pedophilia in an anime convention. Boo! Seriously? You in for a fight? Are you serious? You looking for a fight with that sign? Fetishizing lo lollies? Pedophilia? You really looking for a fight? Seriously? Seriously? You looking for a fight? Anime was designed and catered for men, it's a male only space and we need to make a petition to ban feminists from the gaming and anime industry because they are just ruining this entire industry. We made a mistake as men by allowing these people into our entertainment spaces. It's like allowing the Palestinians and Arab nations to occupy the Jewish holy land. Imagine half these wokey left liberal feminists found out that Jewish people originally occupied the land of Israel before Palestinians came, their mind would get absolutely blown when they realized that Jews were the original occupiers of Israel. This constant demand for secularism in different communities has never worked out. We need to start kicking these people out because they're just ruining the safe spaces for the original occupiers. Same goes for feminists in the Genshin community. They are ruining the market. They don't understand what the majority audience wants and that is straight men want hot women as characters and if they can't deal with that, they need to leave. So we all need to take a stand together, stand together as men, straight men who want our game and community back. These feminists coming in to spread their agenda and colonizing our community need to leave. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to sign a petition to get these people out and free Elliot Gindi, free Sinatra and free P Diddy.